now going to perform a rapid mastitis test. I take a volume of milk into a clean white container. I then add an equal volume of the rapid mastitis test reagent. This mixture is then swirled slowly and gradually for 30 to 60 seconds. If the mixture forms a gel, it indicates that mastitis may be present. In this case here, the result is negative because the milk just looks like a strawberry milkshake. This goat's had a previous attack of mastitis in this side. You'll notice that it's smaller than the right hand side. I'll check if mastitis is still present. I put in a volume of milk. I then add the rapid mastitis reagent. This mixture is swirled slowly for 30 to 60 seconds. If a gel forms, it indicates that mastitis may be present. In this case, you'll notice that the mixture is becoming thicker and thicker and thicker. And it is starting to cling to the bottom of the porcelain container. This indicates a positive reaction and mastitis may be present. Notice that it's becoming jelly-like in consistency. Every time milk is removed from the udder of a goat, a teat dip preparation should always be applied. This is the teat dip. Here, I use an iodine-based teat dip, and this is just applied to the teats every time milk is removed. Notice that you get a good coverage of the teats involved. 